Yo, it's your boy AJ. I'm here with Rage. We're about to talk about this Ben Simmons trade rumors. Does Ben Simmons have trade value? Make sure you guys hit that like button, no subscribe. <laughs> You're now with the Nets Kingdom. Nets Kingdom. Yeah, so we uh shout out to Saint man because Saint put uh sent this article to me. I didn't even wasn't aware about this article until like this morning. Um, and it was the article, shout out to Sean Devaney and heavy.com. It was about an NBA executive, anonymous exec- <laughs> make sure you anonymous executive that put out a rumor. Well, you know how Sean Marks and we've been through these John Collins uh rumors for t- a long, long time now. We and know John, and trust me, John Collins has been in the same rumors too. There's been, it's been like what, mm-hmm. my my sure. whole lifetime that oh, John <laughs> Collins is on the move. John three, Collins four years. Been, it's been like three, four Sha- years by now. Sha- Sha- and Shams put out an actual tweet mentioning mm-hmm. that this was the year that this is they're looking for trades and yeah. it's gonna get done. What happens? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Again, for another year. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe something changes. And I was, um, well, the article was about John Collins and a Ben Simmons swap. And let me read some of this. Uh, the article it says the Nets have had interest in Collins, but getting the pieces for a deal just right has proven impossible. Um, the Nets want some guys who can score and Collins can score. But the only way the Nets can really do something big, uh, can get someone who can score is if they give can get a taker for Ben Simmons. One league executive told Heavy Sports there aren't a lot of teams where that would make sense, but Atlanta is one of them because you need to build a defensive group around Trey Young. Now, if you're the Nets, you still have to convince Atlanta that Simmons wants to play. Obviously, that is the question around him right now. And then, bro, to bring up uh, John Collins' stats uh, for the year, uh, what was John Collins' stats in um, this season? You know, he had a, this was his off year. Everybody's talking about he had that Broken finger, you know, everybody's seen the picture of his swollen finger. He's been shooting terrible from three. Um, but yeah, you got his you got his stats. He shot he had 13.1 points per game, 6.5 mm-hmm. rebounds, uh, had a turnover a game, shot 29.2% from the three-point line, yeah. and 50.8% from the field in 30 Oof. minutes a game. He played 71 games this season. Oh wow, he played a lot of games. Um now go to Ben Simmons stats uh for this year. <laughs> Ben Simmons, you know, we Ben Ben 10, Ben 10 the Great. Oh man. Ben Simmons. So we got 6.9 points per game, 6.3 mm-hmm. rebounds per game, 6.1 assists, 26.3 minutes a game, 42 games played. Yeah. Now, it's funny because I when I put this tweet out and I wasn't expecting it to go viral today, but there were some Hawk fans that were willing to do it. I mean, I think John Collins' stock is so low right now that their Hawks fans are are ready to give him up, bro. And I was looking at Bobby Marks' offseason preview um, of the Hawks, right? DeJounte Murray, their finances are not in order because they got to give DeJounte Murray, he's going to be on his expiring deal next year. They got to either, they got to make a decision to give him the bag and keep him and then go shoot up in the luxury tax. They'll be in the second apron. Like, they'll be over the luxury tax if they give him his bag. Keep John Collins and keep Trey Young, all three of them. It's going to be – the finances are not going to be good for them. Um, so it's like this year, if you're going to you're gonna go into this year, like, we'll wait and see what happens to DeJounte. We're not going to give him a max, and we'll keep John Collins. Or do we get John Collins off, free up some money, and try to build more defense around Trey like the article was saying? Yeah, because they still got to figure out the Trey and DeJounte scenario. Who knows yeah. if Trey wants out? Who knows if they decide to build around DeJounte? Who, you know, obviously John Collins has been in the rumors forever. Yeah. And it's spark it's sparking up again. So um now with the trade, it's like for me, it's weird because Ben Simmons, it's like Ben Simmons sometimes. I've seen flashes this year. And I know Ben Simmons didn't play a lot, but there were some times that 
I was like, oh my god, this is all. This is almost all star Ben Simmons. What we need, this yeah, is what we he, need. He'd go, he'd go to the basket, yeah. be able to, and when he went to the basket, he so he was able to show and a a physical strength that you knew he had over other everyone else. Yeah, and then he's, there'll be points where he, it's just like not terrible, and he's just kind of sitting there yeah. doing nothing. He'll set a screen and fade like he's about to shoot a shot. Yeah. And the, like the, there's points in this in this in this whole season, he was guarding one through five. The defense looked great. He was attacking the rim. But then there's points where it's like you get so pissed off at Ben because you see his lack of motivation. He gets hurt. He doesn't play. The tightness. The um. The not playing. Um. Barely playing games. And you don't know if he wants to play. The games where he doesn't even look like he's trying. Like yeah. and, 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 on, and on defense as well. It's not just offense. Like obviously offense, he isolates himself a lot. Whether that's due, well, injury obviously plays a part, and there's a mental aspect. But both of those play a factor, and he looks, he looks dis- disinterested out there, and yeah. he's just out of place, and it's not good. And do you think like, because this is like from the from the Hawks fan perspective, they're like, we're not. This is a, unrealistic. We're not getting. I mean, we don't want Ben. But then I'm looking in my comments. There's Hawks fans that are saying, listen, Ben can um, come off the bench, or he can he can be their primary defender. He'll lock up for. Like you said, he'll help. They'll help. He'll definitely help the Hawks defensively because they need defense. Um, he doesn't have to have the ball. I mean, all the time, you can you can stagger their minutes with him and Trey Young, um, and then you don't really depend on Ben to score. He would just be like a kind of a backup small ball five, you know, kind of player towards the Hawks. But do you think do you think Ben could fit on the Hawks if this trade would would happen? Let me know your. Well, it would know. be interesting to be honest because it's like. Well, if you do decide to slot him into the starting lineup, because who who is starting at the four when yeah. you take out John Collins? Yeah, how does him and Clint Capella work? Mm, that's a good point. Because that was yeah. also a pro. It, it was it, it. Sometimes it was a problem with the other centers that we would have. Yeah, but it would be. But in their in their aspect, it's like they would definitely use Ben as like a off the bench guard up kind of guy like a I you think, come off the I bench mean, guard I, up I mean kind of how guy. much was John Collins really giving them like he yeah. obviously he had an off year he didn't really shoot well from 3 but he obviously he can shoot it and yeah. that provides something it's not like they're like there's obviously going to be points where if you're not shooting well they're going to leave you open yeah. but John Collins at least can shoot the 3 and people know it where with Ben that's not the case we they every, everyone knows he can't shoot yeah, it would so, be. Yeah, it could. It could. I'm, it could backfire. Where, I'm just wondering where, in that case, how that would fit. But if you decide, if you're okay with that money that he's making and bringing it off the bench, which which will hurt, like bringing it, bringing all that money off the bench, especially being having Trey Young and Dejounte Murray on your um on your payroll, that'll yeah. be interesting. But the you know the positives he'll give you when if he's playing is he'll obviously bring he'll bring you defense. He'll be able to facilitate. But that's all a huge question mark, which is a yeah. problem in terms of the Hawks standpoint. But they could be so fed up with John Collins with how many with how many rumors there have been, yeah. with how many like they've been trying to trade him for years. They don't want John him. Collins is, John Collins is like a non factor. It's like it doesn't even like seem like there's a point of John Collins on the team, especially yeah. with DeJounte Murray and Trey Young. Like, they don't even use together, him. Like, yeah, they don't even use him. And now people think about the money standpoint, right? How's the money work? Now, obviously, Simmons is getting paid more than John Collins, but it says right here the two players carry considerable financial burdens. Simmons is owed seventy-eight million over the next two seasons, and Collins is owed seventy-eight million over the next three seasons, with the third being a player option. So, while the deal involving the two could be seen as swapping one problem contract for another, in the best case scenario, Collins could be a productive scoring big man for the Nets, desperate for shooting and scoring. Simmons could be a versatile defensive wing and top ball handler to take pressure off Trey Young. Yep. So it's like on our side of it, I was big on the let's get John Collins trade. Let's get John Collins until we lost the stars. When we lost the stars, was, I was John like, Collins, John Collins was looking nice when we had yeah, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Exactly. But now that we don't have the stars, I'm like, mm, I mean, I guess you could put him at the power forward. We yeah, do. You, we you, do you, need you, a four. You'd put him at. Ooh, yeah. that and also like, how does that work out with bringing back if you bring back Cam Johnson? Exactly. So like, if you bring back CJ and then you add JC, and then you give them to give them Ben, I mean, you're taking off. We get a little bit. I don't know. I guess the contracts are similar, but it'll be more money because we have to, it's a third uh, third year for John Collins. But you put him at that four. He's a versatile guy. He can. Let's. We would have to hope 
this season was just an outlier season because of his broken finger and he'll shoot a lot better because you look at his career stats, his career stats, he's a great shooter from three and he averages more rebounds, averages more points, but you know, his usage was down this year. Um, so we would just hope that this season was just outlier, like, you know, bad. He's trying to get out of the Atlanta or whatever it is. And, and, and he al- would be along great with, with us. Along with like them having DeJounte Murray, like with like another scoring option, like, where does John Collins fall in the in with all of that? And you knew yeah. he was going to take a back seat with DeJounte Murray being on the court with Trey Young, yeah. but it was like a major back seat. I mean, like John Collins didn't even look like there was a point of him playing. Yeah, and it's so this. I know this trade is probably really unrealistic, but it's like <laughs> you got to think about it. Ben Simmons, the the surprising part of it all was there's teams that like. There's I saw some Mavs fans in my comments like, yo, Ben Simmons might he might be the key to our need. Everybody wants like a defensive wing, a 6'10 wing athletic. Everybody's high on the upside of Ben. They're very, very high on the upside of Ben. So it's like he And you know what we were and we were too at we we were too as Nets Mm -hmm. fans. It was like, well, even with him, like, you know, we were like, oh, maybe it's just an off year or whatever with like the playoffs or whatever, you know, maybe in a different environment. And, you know, he can bring defense, he can bring facilitating, he pushes the pace. The problem is if he's going to play, if he's actually willing to play, if he's healthy, because you still have to wait for him to be healthy. Obviously, you know, Michael Porter Jr. has a back in, had a back injury as well. And even he said after like it's been over a year that he's still getting through it and he's starting to get back to the player he was because you saw you saw Michael Porter Jr. last year. He really wasn't that great. Like he had an off year last year due to a back injury and he's gotten better this year way better yeah. so yeah. it's like you just Ben to- ceiling is high like ben ceiling is high i mean you would think about it right john collins ceiling is probably not as high as ben at the peak of their peaks not really no it's, it's not, not it's, it's, ben's is higher at the peak of their peaks but we don't know yeah. if ben is ever going to reach that ceiling it's like it's a risk it's a risk because john injury, collins is going to give you what he's going to give you you got to worry about you got to worry about the injuries with ben and you have to worry about the motivation yeah John Collins is going to give you at least 10 plus points, eight plus rebounds. Sometimes he's going to hit from three and he's going to play. He played 71 games this year. So it's like, he's going to play Ben. It's like, we don't know what's going to happen. (laughs) Is he he going to play? And another problem is it's like, and when he does play, obviously you had those very, very, very minimal games of him producing. Yeah. But the games were uh, the games outside of that. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't good. And if you looked on Nets Twitter, no one thought he played well. Yeah, it's a risk on both sides for both franchises because the Hawks, you're risking if if Ben's going to reach his ceiling again, and for the Nets, you're risking if John Collins, if this was an outlier year, and if he's really his fingers really messed up, and also the money risk because you're going to resign TJ, you're going to get John Collins, you're going to have um that luxury tax a little bit pushing up, and you got to figure, and you still, and you still. Even when you add John Collins, like where are you as a team? Yeah, he's not really and, a scorer. Scorer, and, he's, a, he's a catch and, and shoot guy. And if yeah. you get rid of Ben Simmons in terms of our case, you're like, ooh, maybe we should have just waited for him to, you know, get healthy, and then he ends up being very good for the Hawks. Yeah. I personally still think there is a light for Ben Simmons in terms of because you know, obviously, with the back injury, and it just doesn't seem like he can avoid injuries and injuries. What in playing playing hurt. And, you know, the mental aspect, those those obviously play a part in your performance. Like if you're if you're constantly getting, you know, getting, you know, if you're uh, if you're constantly getting hated on and, you know, you're not and you're not healthy and like all that is stacking up on you, you're you're probably not going to play well. Obviously, like his mindset plays a part in that. And some of it is his fault. But like all all in all, like it's just not a good mix. But. There is a possibility that Ben Simmons can get back to the player he was yeah. with time. Obviously, with we've seen with Michael Porter Jr. And we've seen instances this this year where Ben Simmons looked very, very good. He was a positive on almost everything. Like, he was yeah. able to push the pace. He was playing defense. He was attacking the basket. But like, but like we said, that's very minimal, and we barely got to see it. Yeah. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. Let us know in the comments, would you do the swap? Would you? Yes, you in the comments. Would you do this John Collins, Ben Simmons Fox, um, Ben Simmons trade? If you're a Nets fan, let us know. If you're a Hawks fan watching this, let us know how you guys think. Make sure you guys tune in. 
um, netskingdom.net. We're going to be dropping some articles on netskingdom.net. Follow us on Twitter. All our Twitters are at the bottom. Instagram is netskingdom1. Appreciate you guys for joining us, man. We'll see what happens. It's, it's trade season. It's off season. It's a lot of rumors coming up. We'll see what happens, yo. Appreciate you guys.